Hey y'all, uh, normally I would do a workshop Wednesday tonight, but I'm feeling really nauseous. And considering what I was just doing like half an hour ago, I really don't think it's a good idea for me to be on stream for significant stretches of time. Um, but I did want to do a little something tonight, so I thought instead I would spend a couple of minutes just going over my um, materials for painting minis. So you've seen me before probably with the little miniature stuff uh, and me painting that. And I just want to go over the material and stuff I have here um, for doing that. And it's just a couple of things. And I, I think you can actually paint minis, uh, like D&D minis or whatever, with only a few tools. So what I, I have for painting is you have first your paints. And these are literally just like Target's brand acrylic paints. Uh, nothing crazy here at all. I have a handful of, of colors here. Technically, all you need are, you know, like black, white, um, red, blue, and yellow, right? Because you can mix all those colors. But um, I, um, I have found it is nice to having a, a couple more colors than that. So I have a black, a white, and a gray because sometimes you're mixing and you want something that's kind of in the middle without having to mix, you know, your black and white together. Um, I have... Red, you, red, yellow, blue, and green. And I have an extra green because I paint a lot of D&D minis. And green is a color you need a lot of. So rather than constantly mixing uh, blue and yellow together, I just have some extra green. Again, not technically necessary, but nice because you use it a lot in these sorts of things. Um, and I have two colors of brown. Similarly, because with D&D minis, you've got a lot of wood colors and you know, uh, leather and things like that. So one or two brown colors is nice. I definitely wouldn't, you know, push uh, with a, a lot of browns here, so you need a lot, need many, but, you know, maybe start with one. Uh, and then just for fun, uh, they have a couple of metallic colors. So I have like a steel and a sterling silver, a pewter, and a bronze. And those are all really useful, obviously, for D&D, for swords and blades and such. Um, so you have your colors, and again, I, I would just start with a couple of basic colors and go from there. Then you need your brushes. Um, you know, I have quite a few here, but some of these are just left over from various sets. Um, I really only need probably three of these. Um, I would recommend having one larger brush um, in terms of size relative to your minis. You know, this is going to cover a lot of, whoops, a lot of ground on your mini there. But if you're trying to like, cover this entire thing with brown, just a, a base coat of brown, for example, it's nice having a large brush that can just cover all of that. Um, and then you want some smaller brushes. So these, this is a very small brush here, as you can see. Um, and then I've got another very small brush here, and then a couple more that are slightly larger than that, sort of in between. Um, because you definitely want, if you're doing details, right, to have a, uh, a really fine brush for those details. So something fairly large and something you know, nice and small for your brushes, and you're good to go there. Um, then I have just a few other little bits of equipment. In order to get this paint out, you could just glop it onto your uh, you know, piece of newspaper or whatever. But I like using popsicle sticks to pull out paint and put it down and give you more control. Um, I think that's definitely useful. And then you want some gloves just because you're going to be working with paint and paint is going to get everywhere. And you have to hold your mini right to paint it usually. I mean, you could put it down and kind of clamp it down and such. But uh, it, yeah, I find I get better control if I'm actually holding it onto it with some gloves. And that is, uh, you know, just for me, um, I think gloves are, are pretty essential for painting in that sense that I certainly would not want to paint without uh, gloves on. Otherwise, I would have paint on my hands literally every time. So, yeah, it's just a couple of brushes. Um, and again, these are, these are simply, literally I went down to like Michael's and just got a small brush. Uh, a couple of colors, I would go with some of the basic colors, a black and a white, maybe a gray, um, and then a brown or two if you've got minis, or, or sorry, fantasy style minis. Uh, like I said, I like having gloves and popsicle sticks. And then one other thing I think is useful to have is you have a little glass bowl, because if you're mixing up paints, um, and you're trying to do that, say, just on a flat surface, they will tend to spread all over the place. But if they're in a little container, you can, you know, uh, mix and mix and mix. Some folks use, like, ketchup cups and things like that for that, which is fine. But you have to then, you know, toss them or, or you know, whatever. They, they do tend to fall apart after a while, and this glass will remain for a long time. As you can see, there's a lot of uh, paint in here over the course of time. 
uh, little bits of paint that have stuck in there. I'm sure I could take like alcohol and wipe that down or something or mineral spirits, something like that. Um, but this is perfectly fine for what I'm, I'm doing. And I can just reuse this over and over. Similarly, if you're doing a wash where you want uh, to dilute your paint with some water and wash that in, that's what this is going to be ideal for. You really can't do that on a, a table surface, so you'll get water everywhere. So I think a, a little glass bowl or something like that is, is really useful. Uh, like I said, that's, that's it. So this is a very small amount of uh, materials. Uh, you may be wondering what these are actually in. This is, these are actually uh, 3D printed little containers for paint. Obviously not necessary. I just wanted a little something to, to be able to, you know, move them around on counters and kind of move them around easily. Um, but that is, th th those are my materials. So if you do want to paint little things, models and such, I think that's really all you need. A couple of brushes, small brushes, some paints, um, gloves, and then get to painting. So I hope this has been useful. See you next time.